Hi guys, good evening. Hi Gabby, Christian, Imelda, hello guys. Good evening, good evening. How, how are you doing? Are you doing fine? Are you having a good day? Noemi, good evening. Hello. How are you doing, guys? Uh, guys, no he tenido mayores dificultades con la lluvia. Hello. It's raining. In this moment. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, acabo de ver like some posts that está lloviendo muy fuerte in some areas and the some communities are like having some issues. But guys, todo bien en sus casas? Is everything all right? Everything good? All is good. Thanks, God. Okay, that, that's important. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Uh, guys, what about the rest? Tienen problemas de internet? Not really, not much. Yes, I, I have some problems with my internet. Oh, the connection okay. is um, ¿cómo se diría? Como intermitente. Breaking. Breaking. You can just, yes, the connection is breaking. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Well, esperemos que, you know, um, it gives us the time, right, to have kind of like today's class and, and no big, uh, with like no big things, let's say, or not big circumstances here. Uh, guys, let me know, please. Me avisa si tienen alguna dificultad, but esperemos que la lluvia nos permita, you know, tener los 120 minutos. Um, Arnaldo, thank you for joining. Great to see you. Helen, good evening. How you doing, guys? ¿Cómo están? Eh, ¿Está lloviendo muy fuerte en sus casas? Is it raining a lot? Or, or not really? I mean, yesterday it was raining here, but not today. ¿Siguen la lluvia en sus casas, guys? Helen? Good evening. In my house, yes, it's raining a lot. Evening. Oh, so it is raining. I see. Okay. Yeah, well, guys, uh, I hope everything goes smoothly. Um, I creo que alguien is reporting there. Oh, okay. And, uh, uh, okay. Okay, but hopefully we'll be able to have the 120 minute session, right? Uh, Adolfo, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Um, so let me just see who else is here. Okay, guys. So welcome to session number seven. Uh, gracias por uh, acompañarnos desde tempranito. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, thanks guys for your participation. Um, let me see. Hi, Arnaldo, are you with us today? Are you working? Good evening. Hi. I'm at home. Oh, very nice. Great. Thank you so much for letting us know. So that means that we are going to have you participate a lot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess another person is coming here. Judy. Hey, Judy. Great to see you. Thanks a lot Hi. for joining, Judy. How are you, Miss? ¿Cómo está? How are you doing? Fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. Good to hear that. Well, guys, uh, it's really nice to, to know you're here and uh, and, you know, just in case something is going on, eh, para saber, you know, si tienen alguna dificultad con el internet or uh, rain, no los deje escuchar or something, let us know, please. Y vamos a estar pendientes también um, de ustedes, right? So, guys, teníamos una actividad pendiente para el día de ahora. So, we are having one activity. That is the presentation of the product. Lo vamos a hacer later. Uh, so, when more people join us. But today we're going to get started. We are going to continue with the part of marketing, right? So to get started, I have like one quick question for you. Before guys, um, yesterday uh, you were well telling us a little bit about some uh, YouTubers, Instagrammers, um, influencers, let's call it that way. 
And I remember you mentioned one girl that was in the English uh, or in the language industry that was Holly, right, Miss Holly? So I was like, hey, who is this girl? So I was looking into her. And yeah, definitely, she is a YouTuber. And um, no, the, the point, guys, is the following. So what I want to bring up here is, uh, guys, alguien ha pagado? Have you ever paid uh, for like uh, learning something on your own, like self-study, because you saw a lot of marketing? For example, you have, oh, in the past, this program that was Inglés in Barreras, uh, in uh, present times, we have Open English, <laughs> um, Duolingo, right? Um, what else? Uh, oh, in the past, we have the encyclopedias, right? Oceano. Guys, did you ever buy one of those encyclopedias, like big, big books? Do you still have them? Si les ayudan algo? Did it help a little bit? Compraron la colección? Tell me about it, guys. So, so... My mom was like into the ocean that like that encyclopedia, the but that whole collection, and she bought wow. us I think uh, like two encyclopedias and also a lot of dictionary, different kind of dictionary. I don't know what they were for, but <laughs> but they but never they used, look cool. <laughs> but they look yeah, cool, I guess. They were, like, they were with the same color and they, and everything, but actually I didn't use them too much. Oh, okay. But they look okay. cool in the bookshelf. <laughs> and uh, especially because they are like a blue, like a blue cover, right? I yeah. think it was yeah. blue. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I remember cool. that. Okay. In my, case, in, my, in my case, my mother, my mother bought a, um, a little book, mm -hmm. Learning English at Home. Oh, Aprendiendo nice. English in casa. <laughs> Okay, like English or Spanish? Most, no? uh, yeah, and, and you can, uh, and this book have a, a explanation about the pronunciation. Ah, okay, yeah, I had but it. It's the, most, it's the most cheaper book uh, to learn English, I think so, in the um, 90s. <laughs> I think I bought it in the in the twenties, you know. But yeah. uh, back in those days, uh, oh my God, valía como diez colones. It was like yeah. in colones. You bought it in colones. <laughs> oh, okay. I had it, and that was my first uh, uh, my first contact with English. So I was super happy to learn expressions like buenos dias good morning <laughs> so yeah. nice to meet you yeah i remember that okay good yeah. guys what about the rest of you did you ever buy a book to learn something on your own art uh, i don't know have you ever seen any other um i don't know advertisement about a product and you bought it i just know about open english because it's like oh open english everywhere and the exit and the and you know and those crazy expressions they bring so guys alguna vez han pagado algo because of the marketing because it is super famous um, how do you say tentado or tentar ah tempted uh there are Tem some some words uh-huh you can say i have been tempted right i or i was tempted Tempted, uh, or I was about to. So about to is another way to say estuve a punto de. <laughs> so I was about to, mm -hmm. or I was tempted. So I was tempted uh -huh. to buy a, a course about, uh, um, ay, no sé cómo decir, pero de, de bordado. <laughs> ah, yeah. wait, the, the patterns, como los patrones, the patterns. Yes, um, oh. eh, de domestica. Domestica. Oh, in domestica. Um, uh -huh. Okay. It's, it, it isn't it's a free? good site. Really? I, I was <laughs> tempted because I, I watch a lot of ads advertising in YouTube channels about ah. uh, art or craft. Ah, okay. 
But can you do embroidery? Puede bordar. Can you do embroidery? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I I want to learn. <laughs> ah, okay. So, and you want... Adolfo se le está quebrando un poco. It's breaking a little. Sí, uh, apague la camarita un momento. Y solo que... I have to take audio. the course as... Okay, okay. Yeah. Ajá, and, and para que se le estabilice. Can you listen to us? Yeah, she has, she has to take... Mm -hmm. A course for in domestic as soon as possible. Ah, okay. To learn to embroider. <laughs> uh -huh, to learn the embroidery techniques. But very interesting because uh, Imelda says that yeah. um, she was tempted. She was about to buy them, but you still need to learn. <laughs> okay, yeah. but it is not difficult. So you can do it, Imelda. So it is not hard. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but is it embroidery or knitting? Um, eh, bordado a mano, no sé. Uh, embroidery then. Okay, embroidery. embroidery. What happens okay. is that you have knitting, que es como el, eh, el tejido. Como, ah, el tejido. Uh -huh, el, yes. el macramé. Eh, yeah. um, creería que el macramé es como un amarradito. I'm not quite sure. I think it's a little ah, different, okay. mm -hmm. okay. but the other one is called knit. So knit is the head, right? So you yeah. need something. Knit and embroider. Uh, uh, yeah. Hi, Kenya. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, y como los patrones de bordado le llamamos patterns. So, okay. mm -hmm. so patrón de lo que sea, especially in arts, uh, we call them patterns. Como de la ropa, right? So it can be a pattern. If you're learning to make some clothes pattern. Eh, si hablamos de arquitectura, in your cases, for example, y hay como patrones de líneas or something. Yes, I, I, I know that word in architecture, like mm -hmm. pattern. Eh, mm -hmm. for, for example, a sample of a texture, uh -huh. a, a sample of a material. Mm, that would be a pattern. Yes, a, uh -huh. yes, a pattern. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So in embroidery is the same. Wow, but you didn't buy them at the end? Did you Sorry? buy the, the yes, did you buy the embroidery patterns? Um no. <laughs> no, no, no at the moment. <laughs> was it expensive or was it cheap? It's cheap because oh. I I found I, I look for the information mm -hmm. and I remember the course. Um worth like maybe 10 or, or 12, uh, 20 dollars. Oh, that is it's a, really cheap. <laughs> it's cheap that because, is for me. <laughs> but okay. it's cheap because that is the price of the, the whole course. Ah, so it is a course. Yes. Oh, okay. No, but that sounds good, mm -hmm. especially if you are self-taught. So I think that that is really important. Uh, that word self-taught is when you learn something on your own. So you don't need like a teacher, right? So they give you just the material and you are good at following it. So that is called self-taught. Guys, yes, for example, uh -huh. I, I, sorry. No, 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 please I... go ahead. I learned to sew with a YouTube tutorials. Can you like, you mean like sewing? Uh, yes, uh, or you mean sewing like... machine with a sewing machine. Oh, super yes. cool. My what frustrated you... dream, it was be a fashion designer. <laughs> oh my God, but that is amazing. <laughs> but can you mend or can you create? Uh, both. Mm -hmm. For example, I like to draw. Uh, well, yesterday I, I say that I said that I don't like to uh, take pictures, mm -hmm. but I use my Instagram account only mm -hmm. to uh, upload my drawing. Oh, nice. Okay, nice. So what kind of drawings do you normally make? Fashion designer. Oh, okay, nice. I have seen like some videos of designers uh, coloring, I would say. Not drawing, but like coloring dresses. And uh, that looks amazing. That looks super yes. cool. 
Oh, so you're self-taught. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow, super nice. Hi, guys. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, Christian, I'm happy to see you back. Angelica, hello. Eh, don't worry, guys. Creo que tenemos algunas dificultades with the internet, pero me alegra que ya regreso. I'm happy you're back. So, um, the question we have right here is very similar to the one we have right there and the, to what you mentioned before. It says, I have chosen a school or home or some self-study material uh, that is exactly like that, like domestica, like, I always remember English in Barreras, you know? <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe this Oceano material. So because of a pamphlet, poster, TV advert, radio advert, or other marketing. So guys, what is something that you have chosen? Uh, what is like something that you have bought just because it was on TV or because it was on the radio or on a poster? Probably it was worth it, probably it was good, probably it was not good, but it was like super, super famous. Do you have any experience with this? Have you ever, I don't know, bought something or some self-study material or a product because of advertisement? Adolfo? Yeah. Yes. I usually every day I I listen Acu Radio to listen reggae music and in every hour uh, I can listen uh, some advertising. Mm, okay, so what did you buy out of advertisement? Uh, How no, did you bought no. anything? How? Have you ever bought anything? just because of the advertisement? No, no, not, not really. For, for example, only... um, a couple of years ago, we had TV Offer and TV Offer was super famous. Do you uh, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. But in my case, I, I only, I like to listen to music and to listen to some, Mm, uh, North American radios. Oh, and okay. I and I usually I like to watch uh, every videos uh, to educating or uh, listening educating. Mm, okay, okay, got it. Yeah. Uh, got it, got it. Hi, but Daniel. But usually every mm -hmm. every ten years, every every ten minutes, mm -hmm. you can hear some advertising. You can definitely. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Especially on the radio. <laughs> because or on it's, the, the, it's the free. It's the free up. Mm -hmm. And it reaches more people. Margarita, good evening, Daniel. Hello. Hello Rafa. Hi mm -hmm. guys. How are you? Hello, good evening. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Under Hello. under the rain. <laughs> under the rain. <laughs> yes. I know. I know. <laughs> So guys, um, we are talking today about this like interesting statement uh, that is in regards to things that you have bought just because it was on TV or just because of the radio. So guys, but only uh, Adolfo was telling us that he has never bought anything, but he has seen advertisement. Guys, nadie ha comprado algo solo porque estaba en la tele, just because of the TV, just because of the radio. And you say, oh, I'm going to buy it nothing at all probably no, I'm, not, am, I'm not saying i, I am a, i am a difficult customer you are a difficult customer <laughs> so you are difficult to be to to be convinced yeah <laughs> oh okay okay guys tenemos algún shopaholic here <laughs> do we have any shopaholic no yeah the word is shopa shop uh holic so a, a shopaholic, right? Let me Again, see shopaholic. A shopaholic. No. Mm -hmm. Somebody who is um, obsessed but, but say, but or likes to buy a lot of things. Uh -huh. Not expensive necessarily. So let's como, no lo necesito, pero uh, I want it. <laughs> so that's I, I a shopaholic. 
I yeah. I I have a, a I have a rule a rule yeah for shopping someone. And I I think in shop uh, any article I think twenty four hours. Ah, before if I need if, if I need it. If, oh. if, if, if past twenty four hours. Uh, I don't think in this in this article I don't buy I don't buy. Oh, okay. Like for example, you saw something today, so you yeah. don't buy it today. You wait for yes. 24 hours. Yes, uh, ah, if, if, if I keep uh, uh, thinking in 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 I need I I I buy I buy it. Oh, yeah. okay. If I go near, I go buy it. <laughs> oh, okay, good this is, to know. This is my personal, my personal rule. <laughs> oh, all right, oh, but that is amazing. Iris, good evening. Okay, but but that is really interesting because you think a lot about the product you want to buy. In my yes. case, you know, probably just pero mucho. I wait too long because first I check the product I want. Second, I go next week to check the price. If the price mm. is lower, I'm like, mm, maybe I'll get it. I go like one week later, just to check if mm. the price has lowed or has gone lower a little. So I'm like pretty crazy in that. Or guys, <laughs> maybe you're not a shopaholic necessarily, but aren't mm. you obsessed with marketplace or something? Yes, Christian, tell us. Uh, I, I buy something I buy in Black Friday. Oh, but something mm. expensive <laughs> or everything? Mm. Sometimes uh, one thing a uh, little expensive, mm -hmm. mm, like a computer, a cell phone, mm -hmm. a tablet. So you wait until Black Friday? Yeah. So November. What are, what yeah. are you going to buy this year? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Maybe a uh, new cell phone. Oh, well, all right. But that is a real. Some people wait for some specific uh, offers or people. There is another one, um, Cyber Monday, I guess it is called. And people say that in Cyber Monday, it is cheaper than Black Friday. So I don't know, guys. Alguien trabaja en ventas. Do you work in sales? <laughs> Noemi, no. Hi, Carlos. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. How you doing? I'm fine. Thanks. A little late. <laughs> no worries. You are always welcome. So thanks yeah. a lot for Thank you. being here. Okay. Thanks. I'm a salesman. So, yes, I you're remember. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember you're a salesperson, but I believe you work in different. I don't know, in a different way. Uh, or are you familiar with this? Do you know if for Black Friday, uh, if prices go really down or it is fake? Mm, well, I think it's fake. It's fake. So it is false? In many places. In many places, it's fake. Mm -hmm. Normally, the... the um, the companies have an strategy mm -hmm. before the the Black Friday. They um, up the 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 cost of prices. The prices, uh-huh. They the increase. Prices. They increase yes. prices. Yes, but uh, normally is uh, two or one or two more before the the Black Friday. But in the Black Friday, the prices are normal. Mm, okay, that's a very good the, the point. strategy. Mm, yeah. Okay, so they increase the prices before. So it is fake, right? So it is not like a reality here. Okay, okay. In El Salvador, it is fake. But <laughs> I know that in another country, in, in, in the United States, it is really some, some places. So prices are good, or so they yes. are like real offers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I, I have experience. <laughs> Tell us, Rafa. Uh, <laughs> I, I have experience uh, where with 
uh, November. In, in July, uh, I, I need buy a bed. Mm -hmm. And when when see price in uh, approximately in two hundred dollars mm -hmm. and in November and the Black Friday mm -hmm. the price is higher three 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 hundred. Oh, okay. Minus discount, two hundred. <laughs> so the same, the same price. price. Yes. Oh, that was bad. Did you buy the bed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you bought it at the same, end. The same. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have a really good bargain, I think. So talking about these discounts, I have a really good. Uh, bargain, right? Like a sort of cachada or something. So I had a really good bargain uh, with um, with a stove, I think. Yeah, I bought a stove and a microwave on a but yeah. like 10 years ago, you know, a long time ago. But <laughs> uh -huh, but you're totally right about it. Guys, uh, do you watch uh, Salvadorian TV or Salvadorian channels? Do you normally watch two, four, six, twelve? Yes. Yeah, okay. Uh, only, As well for this. Only the news. <laughs> yeah. Only, only the, the news. TCS. <laughs> okay. Ah, TCS. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So guys, um, what are some of the companies that have advertisement on TV? Because I'm not very familiar with I, I don't have a TV, you know, so I use my computer for everything. Um, so what are some, some companies that have a lot of advertisement on TV? On Salvadorian TV, yeah. of course. Yeah, it's the common Coca-Cola. Oh, okay. Um, Clara. Some Claro. Super okay. Selectos. Oh, Super Selectos. Telefonica. Oh, okay. Telefon Telefonica is Movistar, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. so yeah. just communication mm -hmm. companies. Oh, very interesting. All right. Pantene. Pantene. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. I, it's been a long time I haven't heard that. Okay. Because mm -hmm. most of us, you know, we watch, I think we check Facebook or Twitter. So we don't really watch TV. So it's been a long time. Yeah. Pantene. Very interesting. So we are going to talk a little bit about some of these products. Um, and today we are going to be working with this objective that says identify the main, the main elements of the marketing mix of a renowned national product service. Uh, renowned, right, is like yeah. famous, something super, super famous. So you said Pantene, Claro, Tigo, um, Telefonica or Movistar, yeah. Digicel, what else? Any other Salvadorian company or another that is here? Yeah. Eh, super Selectos. Super Selectos. Walmart, Lo right? Uh -huh. Lo Walmart. Pizza, that's right. Okay. Okay. So those are the renowned national product or service company. Well, those would be product. Um, I don't think we have one in service. So let's take a look. And we have this little conversation and it says, Diana is applying for a position in the marketing department. Um, read an excerpt, uh, like a paragraph from the interview and take turns practicing the conversation. So uh, I just need to volunteers guys, who wants to help us read Tim and who would like to help us read Diana? It can be boys, girls, uh, it doesn't matter. Thank you so much, Christian. So Christian, please help us with Tim. Andrea, hello, good evening. And Andrea, help us with Diana, please. Okay, um, Tim. Uh, Tim is the first. Let, mm -hmm. Let's start with the most important part of the interview. Mm -hmm. Here's the first question. What are the key elements that guarantee the subset of the marketing mix? I think you have to target your market. 
That is, you must define who you are selling to. And you need to fi figure out what they want. If you don't do this, your business will inevitably, inevitably fail. Um, that's right. Target your market and be sure to understand the four P's. Now, second question. How would you define the marketing mix? Well, to put it plainly, the marketing mix is about putting the right product in the right place and time with the right promotion and at the right price. To do this well, you need, you, you need to know every aspect of your business plan. Very nice. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so they are talking about the success of any plan. Thank you, Helen. So I hope um, rain doesn't bother you that much. So you are in Sonsonate. Yeah, be careful. Definitely be careful. Be careful. All right. Careful. So here we have, um, so you must define who you're selling to. And you need to figure out, I really hey, like this word, we'll practice out. it in a moment, figure out what Be they careful, want. Take care. So we have a couple of words that are important, but they said you need to understand the four Ps. What is this? Any idea? Well. What is this? Um, product. Oh, okay. Price. Right, guys. Right. Hey, you got it. <laughs> exactly. Right. Those Hello. are the four right. P's. Mm -hmm. The product, yeah. the mm -hmm. price, the place, place and, and the, the promotion. The, now, the question the is... promotion. Yeah. Mm -hmm, what is the meaning of those words? For example, uh, the activities yeah. that make the product available to, con uh, to consumers, this is what? Promotion. Uh, promotion. Promotion, right? Exactly. Like, but promotion not in the sense of discount, but promotion in the sense of marketing, right? Advertisement. Uh, two, the activities that communicate yeah. the product features uh, and benefits and that help persuade customers. I'm, I'm sorry, customers to purchase the product. What is this? What do you think? Mm. Placement? Probably placement. No promotion in this case. Promotion placement? as well? Okay. Promotion, yeah. All because right. we have to prom we are promote mm, prom the number we have number a one promotion of this product. Mm -hmm. So number one refers to place. Uh, to yeah, this okay. It's maybe play place. It's if place, you take a yes. look here, place on top you have that place is distribution. So that is another word we can take. Okay, we'll check that in a moment. No worries. Uh, the next one, guys, yeah. the amount of money paid by customers to purchase. This price. is very easy. Price. It's a, price. price. Okay. Uh, and actually, part of the activity that you did yesterday un poquito que ver con esto, right? The benefits of the product, like convincing people <laughs> of yeah. your product, etc. the name and everything. Next one says the merchandise or service offered by a company to its customers. This is? Product. Yeah. That is it's the a product. product. Exactly. So we are only missing yeah. number three and number four. Let's take a look super quick here. So the activities that made the product available to consumers, place. what do you place. think this would be? Place, place. 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 or place. distribution. Exactly. Available is a site. Mm, yeah. Well, in the, in the first one, it says uh, the product made available. So it refers to probably moving the product, yeah. right, to different areas. Mm -hmm. so yeah. Place. Or the place somewhere. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the second, the activities that communicate the product features. Guys, what is the meaning of features? I think uh, character uh, characteristics. Very good. Characteristics. Yeah. Exactly. A advantage. 
Uh, yes, the characteristics, probably advantages, yeah, that would be the one. So it says here, each of the four piece has its own tools to contribute to the marketing mix. The following words um, have, have to do with these tools, classify them into the correct category. And we have product, price, place, and promotion. But here we have some words that are related. Design, personal selling, discounts, packaging, retail. Um, any idea what is a retail? Retail location? Have you ever heard of uh, the word retail? It's a place where the, where the pro... Uh, resale. Distribuidores. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, exactly. Minoristas. Yes, perfect. Exactly. So distributors, yes. Minoristas, yes. Yeah. So retail location yeah. is the place where your product yeah. is um, sold, right? So retail location. Imagine, for example, you are Coca-Cola. But you don't go to the Coca-Cola um, factory right? uh -huh, to get a Coca-Cola. I, I go to the tienda of Niña Exactly. Mari. You go to Niña Mari Siendita to get a Coca-Cola. So that would be kind of a retail location, like a small places where you can get your product. Payment plans, public relations, credit terms, advertising, inventory, Brand name, yesterday we said the word brand refers to uh, marcas, right? What is the brand or what is yeah. the name of a product? It's a trademark. The trademark mm -hmm. and the transportation. Guys, I'll give you three minutes. Can you put yes. them? Can you um, select which of these words go into product, which refers to prices, which refers to place. Remember that place is distribution. So place, not necessarily, yeah. se refiere a una locación, but um, the activities that made the product available to consumers. And of course, promotion. I'll give you three minutes, guys. Try to put them into the correct category, please. So three minutes. Three minutes. Well, the sign. Brand name. Price. Payment plan. Plans. Get turn. Place, places, take location, um, transportation. Then promotion. Relation um, Inventory 
Product design personal selling. Personal selling purchasing on discount is a promotion. It's a price discount. advertising sounds like Vincent Price <laughs> <laughs> Vincent Price uh, who is Vincent narrando, Price? narrando thriller <laughs> oh you mean because Adolfo is reading <laughs> oh. oh sorry I, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I hadn't paid attention. We're listening your, your I, mind. I, I, I need I need to take an, a note. <laughs> oh, no worries. The, the no thing worries. is that <laughs> I, I guess he's saying it because your mic was open, uh huh? But I, I didn't I didn't okay. realize. <laughs> but it's all right. No problem.
Por menos, guys. Finish. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, guys, let's complete the exercise together, okay? Um, and please give us the answers you have selected. So let's compare uh, everybody here. We have product. What did you select for product, guys? Design and inventory. Okay, so let me just cross them out here. So you said design for product and inventory. Another one, guys? I put uh, packaging. Ah, okay. But, so we have packaging. But, mm -hmm. Packaging. But, but, but I think packaging is in 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 two in two in two categories. categories. Yes. Okay. Product Where? and promotion. Product and promotion. Oh, product and promotion. You mm. are you are right because also you can make like a smaller packaging right mm -hmm. or a bigger one mm -hmm. yeah okay or, you're or, right or, or, or you can you can create a promotion and mm -hmm. pay one in, 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 and <laughs> mm -hmm. or, or mm -hmm. yes or the mm -hmm. design uh, or something design. can can change yes you're right mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so design packaging yeah that can be in both and inventory anything else guys Do you have something else? Brand name. Brand name. Oh, this is very important. The name of the brand, okay. Profession. Um, which one? Transportation. Transportation. Oh, okay. But transportation is it's with another category, better. So we're gonna check it out. Next one, price. So which one goes with price? Discounts. Discounts, yes. Payment Credit plans. Terms. Payment plans, yes. Iris? Credit terms. terms. Yes, credit terms. Very good. Anything else? Okay, we're good. Now, what about the other one that is place? What do you have for placing? Retail location. Retail location, okay. What else? 
Personal mm. selling. Personal selling. selling. Very good. But there is another one. Is uh, in transportation. In transportation. Transportation. Yes. Transportation definitely goes there. Because if you remember on top, we had the place is the distribution. So yes, it is transportation. Inventory, that may, may be as well. Yes, 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 you're right. Okay, and the last one, guys, the one that we have for promotion. What do you have in promotion here? Well, yes, the discount. <laughs> oh, discounts. Yes, that can work. Okay. Advertising. Advertising. Mm -hmm. Public relation. Public relation, yes. And as um, Daniel said, packaging too, right? Because it yeah. really depends on the way you want to um, advertise your product. Okay, very nice. Cool, cool, cool. So we have all these new words and we have here the four P's for marketing. So brand name, advertising, inventory, retail, discounts, packaging, etc. So now let's move on a little bit. And we are going to go over the following part. Give me just a moment. Give me just a second here. Oh my God. Okay, this is the one. Okay, guys. Um, so we are talking about some of these words, like the placing, the price, uh, the product, right? Um, and we are going to come to the products that you created yesterday. So everybody mm. was supposed to make different um crazy creations i would say uh we have like a lot of crazy things here uh i was talking to one of the groups yesterday like imagine product m guys oh my god yo nunca me lo pondría. i would never wear it <laughs> i don't know you so i don't know if this is something that you would wear or imagine uh, the the bed so it's super weird but we are going to go over this part. And guys, we are going to include just one more thing. That is the price. Yesterday we had name, a slogan, benefits, but we didn't have prices. So today we are going to include prices. How much do you think it was? Or how much you consider it can be? Um, give me one second. One moment here. Okay, guys, vamos a ir a los grupos. Espero que los compañeros, your classmates, um, the ones you were yesterday with are here. So, si se fijan, en las salas están super libres para que ustedes seleccionen el grupo. So, si su eh, producto era el foquito de Bulb, vamos al grupo uno. This is going to be group number one. If your product is the bed, please go to group number two. If your product is the little sofa, please go to room number three. Boots, number four. Sandals, number five. And product M, uh, no recuerdo si era eh, Rafa, I think. I'm not quite sure. Guys, if yours is this one, let's go with group number Six, please. So guys, vámonos a los grupos. Ustedes tienen que seleccionarlos. You need to select them today. So go and select them, please. Um, let me see. Oh, Arnold ya lo envío, no worries. I'm gonna send you in a moment. Si tienen dificultades, guys, uh, accessing, let me know. Y con gusto los agrego. I can add you here. Ok, Rafa Noemi, Andrea Isola, Daniel, Iris Tengavi. Ok. Eh. Iris Tengavi. I remember Carlos was in group number one. And I think that Adolfo was in group number one too. Adolfo, I'm sending you to this group. Uh, Judy. Uh, 
Hi, me sigue lloviendo. Is it raining there? Yes, teacher, it's raining. Oh, pero, pero si logra escuchar, can you uh, like listen to us? Judy? Un poco, teacher. Oh, okay. ¿Se recuerda en qué grupo estaba? Do you remember? Okay. No, no, no. Ayer estaba lloviendo justo a la misma hora, entonces me falló demasiado la señal, no pude estar. Ya al final no pude estar. Oh, okay, no problem, no problem. So, um, le voy a enviar con Margarita para que le hagamos compañía un momento, right? And, okay. uh, and, and hopefully, ella le puede presentar el producto, you know, and, uh, eh, o le puede dar también ideas, you can provide some eh, help, and uh, there we go. Vámonos, Miss. Le hacemos compañía, please, uh, Margarita. la sandalia creo que la teacher acaba de entrar hi yes i'm here <laughs> i'm just visiting girls but please continue 
Es que Judy no entiende, bueno, al menos yo no entiendo muy bien qué es lo que vamos a realizar. Entonces, si es de lo mismo que estuvimos este ayer, dice que ella no estuvo en la clase, no, yes. no la dejó entrar en, en el sistema, en internet. Yeah, that's, that's right. ¿Quién era su compañera, Margarita? No recuerdo si era no, Angélica. Yo no me acuerdo. No me recuerdo quién era. ¿Cuál era su producto? What was your product? Este, la sandalia sí, ergonómica. I think it was... Um, oh, my God. I don't remember who was your classmate. Creería que era y Angelica, I think. Yo no me recuerdo, pero yo tengo la clase porque okay. hicimos el, el hicimos los ejercicios. Y yeah, no, but no si... problem, no problem. Si no se recuerda who was your classmate, Tomis, esta es su oportunidad para abrir. <laughs> This is your time to shine. So, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Presentele a Yuri lo que el día de ayer practicaron, right? Eh, like benefits, características, eh, el nombre de su producto. Y lo único que le vamos a agregar es... Ok. Y lo único que vamos a agregar es el precio, right? El precio. <laughs> That's correct. How much? Ah, okay. Like how much you will be paying uh, for that one? Ok, porque vaya, el primero era el producto, después era el eslogan. Eh, yes, the name y, of the product, eslogan and benefits. Y los beneficios, ¿verdad? Yeah, that's okay. right. Vaya, entonces nosotros por producto pusimos Ergonomic Sandal. Eh, en el eslogan pusimos Walking and I Montec. Clothes. y en el en el cómo es que se llama el otro en el, en el tercero pusimos preven 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 que mir impact impact Ok, ahorita les digo. Siempre se escucha fuerte, Tich. I'm sorry. Yeah, lo que sucede es que casi no se le escucha a usted. So I cannot listen to you very well. Ahora sí me escucha, Tich. Yes, le escucho un poco mejor. Yes, okay. I can hear you. No, but imagínate que le va a presentar. Yo creo que Yuri tiene problemas. Eh, fue el internet. Pero, you know, just in case, vamos a practicar un poquito. Let's practice a little bit. Uh, okay. So, presentarle el producto a Yuri. Como que ya le está presentando las sandals, right? Like, let me introduce my new pair of sandals. Uh, let me present this new product to you. Uh, or, or something like that, right? Okay. Um, in Pluto, um, in hi, guys. Uh, say so hi, Melda. Hi, Helen. Hi. Hello, Daniel. Guys, Hello. Uh, so pretty much uh, for the activity from yesterday, we were just going to introduce uh, prices, right? Uh, to the product that you explained yesterday. Are you ready for that? Yes, yes I think ready. so. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, perfect. What was your product? Uh, the, the chair. 
Okay. Oh, uh-huh. Is it a sofa? It's a sofa, yes. yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Sounds really interesting. I want to listen to that because yesterday <laughs> I didn't have the chance to, to come to the group and, and, and join you. So I want to listen to that part. So is it a chair, a sofa, or the... Well, no, um... no. You... Don't spoil, don't give me the spoiler. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> don't spoil it for me. I want to listen to that. Okay, guys. So we're going to like join the rooms in just a second. And I'll see you in the in the main station. Okay, guys, um, I believe someone is missing, or I think some guys are having problems with the internet, but let me just check. Let me make sure everybody is ready here. Okay, guys, so I am super, you know, excited to hear about your products, especially because yesterday I heard really good ideas about them. And today we are including one more element that is the price. So let's get started with the last product that is product M. Uh, so in the last group I have, let me take a look here super quick. So the person that appears in the last group was, uh, da -da -da -da. I have Noemi and Rafa. Okay, oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> Guys, tell us about the product, please. Okay. Um, our product is in a way, mm -hmm. but it's a different, it has, it's a different sweater. The name is Childress. Mm -hmm. Our slogan is all in one. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the benefit about it is um, the product is 100% uh, cotton. Mm -hmm. um, we have different colors and printers. Mm -hmm. uh, the product includes the hat and protect from the sun and the cold. I'm sorry, but I, I don't listen. I don't listen. Um, the design is exclusive, okay. it's comfortable, and you can use in all places. The, the product is cheaper because cost only $25. Oh, it is cheap. It's cheap. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, amazing. Rafa, what would you like to include about this product? Um, the product is uh, uh, in different colors, the and and the product, uh, I think uh, the size and the position. I'm, I'm sorry, Rafa, but se le escucha un poquito lejos. So you sound kind of far away. No sé si es por, por el mic. It's raining, teacher. But I you know, no, but, no, but I believe it's a mic, porque usted la escucho super bien. 
So, y me imagino que está lloviendo, right? I imagine yes. it's raining in your house. So, yo yes. creería que es el micrófono. I think it's like the okay. micro. Uh -huh, the yes, microphone. Teacher. ¿Usted sí me escucha, Rafa? Yes, es que se le escucha como un poquito lejos. Pero no lluvia, you know, it's not like, like rain, uh -huh, like some interference, but from the audio. Um, the clothes, the, the plane's shoulders, the slow run are uh, all in one. Mm -hmm. The clothes are uh, uh, the things perfect to exportation the other countries. Mm -hmm. uh, the different colors mm -hmm. and the slower uh, all in one and mm -hmm. cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, very nice. Yes, I remembered we were discussing yesterday that in El Salvador this would be a really bad idea. <laughs> Okay, but, but I'm glad. I think that you did a very good job. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot for that. Um, let's go with group number. Um, let's jump to this one. Product J. Guys, who had the boots? Christian and I. Okay, perfect. So, oh my God, I love the design. <laughs> Okay, what can you tell us about the boots? Okay, monster boots. Monster. Be invincible with, with monster boots. They are long lasting, comfortable, and you look as a rock star. Only for $90. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need oh. one pair. I need one pair. <laughs> yeah, but, but she said rock stars only. Rock star. Yeah. Oh, $90, <laughs> I think it's okay. They look cool. I really like the design. Christian, what can you include about the boots? Guys, would you buy the boots? Would you pay $90 for this pair of boots? Not for me. Not I don't. You? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. Oh my well, God. For okay. you, Johnny. 20, 20, 20, 20 oh. years ago, um, probably oh. I, 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 I buy. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for me, they are too high. Um, I too really high. like boots, but probably not like um, heel high, you know? Kill high okay. is okay for me, but this is too high for me. And I'm short. Yeah. So can you imagine? Yeah. Voy a verme más pequeña. I would look like shorter. Yeah. <laughs> Christian, yeah. do you have okay. anything to add here? Um, I think you look a little tall with that boots. You look tall. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, because of the heel. Uh, because, because of the soil, like the 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 soil guys, the the, the suela, the soil because of the soil. Yeah. Oh. It's a little high. Okay. Okay. Uh, one question, Christian. Would you wear these boots? <laughs> uh, really not. Okay. Why not? I don't like it. I don't like it. It's not my style. That's not your style. So are the boots, because Andrea like present them, them nicely, but um, I think I didn't listen. Is this for men or for women? Uh, it's for rock guys. Oh, so uh, both men or women, like Genesis. Uh, yeah. Same sex, okay, Genesis. okay, okay, cool. Yeah, that's not my style either, but they look super cool. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you guys. Very nice presentation. Andrea, what was the name again? What is the, like the slogan uh, for this one? Uh, the name is Monster Boots. Uh, Monster, Boots. Monster, Monster Boots. And the slogan? And the slogan? slogan? Be invincible with monster boots. Uh -huh. Like yeah, super catchy, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I like the name monster boots. Yeah, okay. 
Thank you. Guys, <laughs> let's move to project H. Let's Oof. go with the verb. This crazy verb. I think I have Gabby here. And I think I have Iris. I'm not quite sure. Yes, Iris and Gabby. Girls, yes. what do you have for this one? The the name is Spabed. A slogan uh, drinks and fly. Mm -hmm. The uh, price uh, eighty hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. The place store and online store. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Gabby? promotion. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. go ahead, please. Yeah, <laughs> Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just continue. <laughs> the promotion for the purchase of the bed will uh, give uh, you two pillows. Oh, two pillows, okay. But this looks very heavy. So, um, can you read or share the characteristic, please? Oh, I'm sorry, was that for me or for Iris? No, 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 for Iris. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Iris, uh, do you have the characteristic? Or can you read them, please? Oh, um, it, the, the, it's provided the, the most relaxing sleep, but the, the, como, con valor agregado, how do you say? Uh, I'll value. I'll value. Yeah, the additional value. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, the additional value, the most important the features. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, the most important feature the, that will make love this product is that internal or high closet under the mattress mm. is perfect for saving space. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you mention the price? Did you mention how much it is? 800. 800. Yeah, but when the promotion was, uh, we give you a pair of pillows with a memory phone that helps, helps your neck to not, uh, uh, that, not, that not causes anything on your neck. Mm -hmm. But it's 800. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it, but uh, well, I like it, but I don't love it. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, okay. So, the, guys, would you go for this one? Would you buy this kind of bed? Um, Rafa said that he needed one bed, he was looking for one. Guys, what do you think about this one? <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, we um, we didn't read the part that it also has like like a kind of spa <laughs> because it has like a speaker on them, and also it comes in a different uh, foam level. It could be soft, medium soft, uh, or firm. So oh. you can choose some of that. So that will make like, uh, more value uh, the characteristic because the um. The materials are, are fresh and also antibacterial. Oh, you mentioned that this is like a sort of spa? Yeah, that's why. Uh, because it has a lot of, a lot of uh, characteristics, but it also has a closet in there. That's why mm -hmm. the price is a little high. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'm like, oh, yes. <laughs> yes, but 800 bucks? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, I don't like the bell. <laughs> you don't like the bell. Why not? No. But they uh, said it looks that they like a coffin. Oh, it looks like a <laughs> coffin. They just need like a sort of cover here. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. No, but but you know, Iris and Gavin mentioned that they have extra, you know, features. Like there is a closet uh, underneath, there is a closet under. Uh, also, Gabby mentioned that there is a spa. There are some speakers, so you, uh, uh, um, it can be kind of a spa. But you got a point. It looks like a coffin. Guys, who would be uh, interested in buying this product? Thank you, Helen. Great to have you back. Guys, ¿quién lo compraría? Who would buy it? Maybe for I the children. 
Christian now? They are crazy. No, I not. Ah, I'm okay. Not. Maybe for your children. Yes, okay. when they are crazy for a sleep. Ah, okay. <laughs> que se ven en la cabeza, you know, but they yes. can hit their head, but okay. No, not but... really, but I don't like it really. <laughs> not for you? No, for me. Oh, that's bad. Maybe because of the design, right? I really yes. love it. I love all the characteristics, but I don't like the design. That's the only thing. Guys, who would buy it? Nobody? Judy, Helen, Kenya, no? I'm, I'm not interested in a bedding box. You're not interested in this <laughs> one? I yeah, like it in, because you save a space. It's like a bed in box and mm -hmm. it's not functional. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you, so. you may be you might be right. But I still I want one of these. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but it is too expensive uh, for me. Yeah? Christian? It's no mm, a little claustrophobic. Oh, are you claustrophobic? Mm, not really, but uh, that looks a little claustrophobic. Mm, okay. Yeah, a little tiny, right? Like kind of uh, um, small, tiny. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Well, girls, amazing uh, description of the characteristics. Unfortunately, the design is not very attractive. I'm sorry, but that was amazing. That if, was an amazing I, presentation. Daniel? Teacher, teacher if I buy this, this bed, I, I redesign it. Ah, that's a very good point. But, so you redesign but, it. But the 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 idea uh -huh. is you can keep the closet under yeah. the, the 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 bell is mm -hmm. is interesting. It's yes. interesting. It, it's yes. interesting. Yeah, it's right. Inter it's interesting because you're you're uh, uh, Aprovecha el máximo espacio. You okay. take advantage. You <laughs> take advantage yeah. of the yes. space. Yes. This is, this is ideal for a small uh, bedroom. Yes, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. I was telling the girls yesterday, I saw something like this on the internet, and, uh, you know, I got a saw, and I said, quiero hacer mi cama así, you know? I want to put, like, a lot of drawers but, under my yes. bed. But you, me need, and I couldn't. <laughs> but you need the 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 height of, of your bedroom too high. Uh, probably, but here, mm -hmm. if you see there are some stairs, kind of you can yeah. go up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, but the idea is amazing. The idea is cool. But you mentioned that <laughs> you can change it. You can redesign it. Uh -huh. Nice, nice, great. Okay, guys, let's go with Product G. This is Adolfo and Carlos. I remember yesterday you kind of uh, mentioned some of the characteristics of your label. Today we can include prices. So, what do you have? Okay, our group is uh, Carlos and Arnoldo too. Okay. Okay. Nice. With Arnoldo and Carlos, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So, well, as we say yesterday, when we talk with with Miss Julie, uh, the name, the brand, the name is Lumen for the light bulb. Mm -hmm. I do it. Hello. Follow? Do I follow? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we are going to say my part. The first thing. Our brand name is Lumens, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The second thing. Arnoldo. Can you, can you explain? Can you talk about? Well. Hi, Armando. Probably he's not here. Okay, let me see. Okay. Okay, now the price. 
politics uh, a price by unity around uh, eight dollars because it's the it's the most common price on the on the market, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's an it's an introduction price as we talk. Yeah, it's a good price for introduction of the product. Okay. Then, yeah. and this and the slogan is extend your daylight because mm -hmm. of the quality of light he offer for the client. Yeah, because the the light cycle is about uh, ten thousand hours of light. The most extend, the most extend on the market uh, at the uh, nowadays. Okay, uh, I'm so okay. sorry. Uh, how much do you say it was? What was the price of the light bulbs? Eight dollars. Eight dollars each. Yeah, each one. Okay, okay. so eight dollars each. Okay, all right. Yeah. All right. Yes, exactly. You can get in hardware stores, supermarkets, everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. I Thanks. think it's super functional. Um, I don't know, I don't remember if you mentioned colors, but I think it would be like a very cool idea to have different uh, um, colors, right? Label colors. But cool. It's, 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 a good, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. it sounds it's, a, good. it's a white like I've been thinking because of the name, because his 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 slogan is extend your day like. Mm -hmm. So the color would be just one, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it makes definitely sense. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for the presentation. Um it is super functional and it is something that we would use, you know, um, in our houses. But I don't know if you are pretty crazy about light bulbs. Guys, uh, whenever you need to get some light bulbs for your house, um, are you very picky with that? Are you very particular? Or you buy any kind of light bulb? Would you buy uh... this light bulb? I think we all use uh, light bulbs and LED. Nice. Many of yeah. us we are LED just LED. All, all of our, all, our lights in the house. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In, in my house, I only, I only, we only use LED bulbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. LED. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because me too. It's, it's more, more cheap. That is a really good point. Um, I kind of use LED light bulbs, but I'm not very picky. So, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Guys, I'm missing a product I, that is the sofa. So Daniel, I guess this is your product. Uh, so this is your moment to shine. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I got okay. Daniel and Imelda. And was was another person in your group? Was Helen with you? No. Uh, yes. Yes, I, Helen. yes, yes, right. Okay. But but Let she me. can talk, I think, because mm, yes. she can hear Let very me. well. Okay, no problem. That is totally fine. So me, I really want to listen about it. Tell us. Let me let me share uh, an image, please. Absolutely. Give me just a moment and let me stop presenting here. Um Okay, can you give it a try? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, with uh, the name of, of the product is the Kirby Share. Imelga, please read the, the slogan. The slogan. Please. Okay. Yes. The slogan is work and rest all in one. And the benefit, benefits you can continue, Daniel. Thank you. The shape can help your back. You don't need a cable forever. And, and the height, yeah, continue, continue. Okay. The height of the display can be adjusted. And and you can you can obtain this curvy shape with uh, only the price one hundred forty nine 
dollars with 99 cents. Oh, very <laughs> cool. Okay, like 150. Okay, why do you think we need this? Why do we need the Kirby chair? Yeah, with, with the Kirby chair, you don't need a cable. You mm -hmm. you you don't need a, a a chair, a normal chair. Mm -hmm. You can you can work in this curvy chair. You can eat in this curvy chair. And okay. You can, and you can rest in this curvy chair. Oh, okay. This so is, that's this is, why this is, this is our slogan: work and rest all in one. Exactly. <laughs> so oh, you can do like all activities there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. Is... Uh, uh -huh. Another thing is that you can uh, work in a relaxing way because mm -hmm. it's not uh, so straight that a regular chair is mm -hmm. more comfortable. Oh, because, okay. Because the position is um, uh, friendly with your back. You can sit in different ways. Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, it sounds very interesting. <laughs> and a hundred fifty dollars, guys. What do you think about this chair? Would you buy it? Would you like to buy this one? Would you like to get it? Do you need it? If you need use this chair in with your with your uh, how say wife or your husband, you can use it. <laughs> Oh, for, for other in the in, other in purposes. The, other purposes. <laughs> yeah, you can you can only take off the screen and you can use it. <laughs> but they, but there are there are cords. And there are some electric electrical cables, I believe. No, you, uh, you can you can disconnect. No problem. <laughs> so you found. <laughs> Oh, I never no. thought about it. I was thinking about the design of the of the screen of the monitor, you know. So, okay, okay, guys. But the, would you the buy screen, it? Mm -hmm. the screen is um, adjusted. Adjust, adjust, adjusted, yes. If you, you can, can remove put it. On, yes, <laughs> email that don't give him more ideas. <laughs> okay. okay, guys, nice. would you buy it? Gabby, no. Gabby's getting some ideas now. <laughs> okay, I, I, guys, uh, I, would you buy something I, like this? I would you buy something like this? I don't know. Uh, for watching TV, for working in your computer, for eating. Christian, would you buy it? No. 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 It doesn't look comfortable to me. I'm super honest. So um, um, for me, it looks um, a little comfortable. Okay. It's too fancy for me. Oh, too fancy. Okay. <laughs> it is too fancy. Guys, what about the rest of you? Would you buy something like this? Noemi, would you buy it? Iris? Uh, Andrea? Arnoldo? I think only this. Only test. Testing. Oh, okay, okay. So you like to test it, but okay. but not to buy it. No. Uh oh. Have, Maybe uh, the pen. If, if it is good, if, good enough. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. If it is comfortable enough, okay. Yeah. To for, to me, for, I don't know. For, then for then? in production, for in production, we have an option. We can you can rent. This chair uh, by fifty dollars a month. <laughs> fifty dollars a month. A month, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Rent. I like it. You are very business guys. I mean, if you don't sell it, you rent it. <laughs> that's a very yeah. good. Uh, that's definitely a very good uh, possibility here. Okay, thank you, guys. I'm missing okay. one more. Uh, I'm missing the sandals, uh, but I think Margarita is going to do it on her own. So, Margarita, are you ready? We will help you, Margarita. Uh, Margarita, are you with us? 
I think Margarita has problems with the internet. Says, eh, la sacó del internet. Mm -hmm. yes. Tiene problemas. Yeah. yeah, I don't see her anymore. Okay. Okay, so we'll wait for Margarita to come back so that she can explain that product to us. Guys, uh, in the meantime, we are going to go over a little reading that is from Coca-Cola. Uh, so you know that uh, like a lot of companies are super famous. Uh, they work a lot in their marketing campaign, et cetera, et cetera. And you mentioned before that Coca-Cola normally changes the slogan, right? The design, the call, well, not the color, but the design, right? So today I have a little bit of a reading on uh, Coca-Cola's history, but there is one little thing. Uh, that this is not complete. So we need your help trying to complete the history of Coca-Cola. And uh, uh, so, for example, we are missing some words in the numbers that you will see here. So we have number one, uh, we have here number two, uh, here it's number five, we have number seven, we got number six, right? Uh, we got number four, and we get number three. There you go. So how are we going to complete the little description from Coca-Cola? On your right, you'll see some vocabulary, like debut, endorse, flavors. Um, here, if you pay attention, lleva una U, uh, but podemos escribirlo con o sin la U, no hay ningún problema. So flavors with you, or flavors with no you. A veces es porque es inglés británico o inglés americano, right? Blunder, mm. uh, distinctive, nationwide, and success. That is a big, uh, a great achievement or something super, super good. So take a look at this one, endorse. For example, when we talk about Cristiano Ronaldo, Cristiano has endorsement, right? So which companies uh, support Cristiano, do you know? Or Messi, they receive yeah. endorsement. Who? Yes, endorsement is that, right? Like a patrocinio. Uh, or to publicly uh, support the person. I remember Messi was endorsed uh, by Pepsi, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes. Or in El Salvador, you have Alianza. And Alianza's um, what, um, gear, right? The sport gear. Tiene el nombre de Pilsen, Hermaseca, so all of them. So that is part of endorsement, right? A company that supports them. So flavors, taste, blunder, big mistake, distinctive, unique, and different, nationwide, all over the country, right? And success that is a really, really big, achievement. So I'll give you some minutes um, um, to try to read it, to try to complete it on your own. So uh, just a little something, guys. No necesitamos entender palabra por palabra. We don't really need it. Solo necesitamos intentar encontrar qué palabra hace falta. So for this activity, vamos a hacer una lectura rápida. We're going to do a really fast reading. No dictionaries, no translators, porque no ese es el objetivo, sino que lean lo más rápido que puedan, the fastest you can. Si no entendieron uh, world, no se preocupen, sigan. Just continue. If you didn't understand uh, John Pemberton, for example, so the average, y no entiendo este pedazo, no lo voy a buscar en el diccionario. Solo sigo leyendo. I just try to move on, go on, y hacerlo lo más rápido que podamos. So remember, these are the words that we are going to be using. I'll give you three minutes. Guys, tenemos tres minutos eh, para encontrar la palabra. Please, no lo revisen en el diccionario. Lean rápido, lo más rápido que puedan. The fastest you can. Three minutes. Let's do it.
one more minute, guys. Okay. All right. So, guys, did you finish? Do you need more time? I finished the chair, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, good, good, good. Guys, if you did more time, let me know. Creo que algunos se tienen, el internet los está sacando, like, a lot. But ya casi, guys, ya casi terminamos. No worries. Okay. So, let's take a look here at the, the description for Coca-Cola. Uh, it says that Coca-Cola made its world, and we have number one. What do you have in number one? The wood. The wood. Okay. Blunder. Ah, blunder. Oh, very interesting. What do you think? I know that the Coca Cola was made for a mistake, a big mistake. Mm, it's really, it's very good. It was, oh. created, it was created with a mistake, it's here. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't think in that. <laughs> that is a really good point, but guys, uh, maybe you know that uh, a little bit, I don't know, in a more extended way, because I know that Coca-Cola at the beginning was a sort of uh, toilet cleaner. I don't know if I'm mistaken. Do you know anything about it? Uh, a medicine about the stomach. Oh, it I was, remember. oh, yes. a stomach, okay, kind of pepto money. Yes. Oh, okay. That's new for me. So yeah, que era como un limpiador de baños. <laughs> okay. No, lo, puede, lo, lo, lo puede usar para él. You can use, you can use for that. Yeah, right. For that purpose, but but have have, have the other. The, she she say it create like a big mistake. O sea, fue creada por error. Algo mm -hmm. así. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, but let's take a look. Let's take a look because it says uh, Coca Cola made its, its world uh, at the Jacobs Pharmacy, a uh, soda fountain in Atlanta. So, according to this one, ya estamos hablando de like Coca Cola as a soda. Mm, you mentioned blunder. Okay, we can keep that one. And I, somebody I else think, says debut. Mm -hmm. tell yes, us, tell I us. think it's debut. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Sí fue creada como error, but according to the reading, it was like public appearance, right? Uh, and it says what it sold for five cents a glass in 1886. It sounds more like a debut. Um, so what about the second one? What about number two? Uh, John Pemberton died in 1888 without really realizing the of the beverage he had created. Uh, success. Ah, the success of the beverage. Imagine, guys, 1888. Wow, that was a long time ago. Okay, yeah. <laughs> then we oh, have yes. number three. Uh -huh. As a Greek candler in Atlanta businessman, 
bought up the rights to the business between 1888 and 1891 for a total of $2,300. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. By 1895, the drink was in demand. What do you think? Nationwide. Nationwide. In the man nationwide, that's correct, right? So in the whole place, so like the, in the whole country. Marathon cyclists were the first athletes to Coca-Cola. Marathon cyclists. Think about and Cristiano the Ronaldo. To, Gabi? Endorse. To endorse. Uh -huh, to endorse Coca-Cola to publicly support, right? Uh, and then we have number five. He decided to create a distinctive, a distinctive battle shape to assure people that they were actually getting a real Coca-Cola. And now you have like the, like the curvy shape, right? Number six. Yes. It took Coca-Cola 70 years to expand into new Flavor. 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 Flavor Fanta. Yes. New flavor Fanta. Exactly. So 70 years. Can you imagine? And now you have grapes, strawberry, a Sprite. I really like Sprite, um, etc. Number seven and the last, Coke was guilty of the worst marketing. Number. Which one? So, success. 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 Oh, but it's the worst. Blunder. Uh, the worst marketing. Was guilty yeah. Of the worst. Worst is something bad. Worst, worst. Marketing, marketing blunder ever in 1985 when it released New Coke, changing the recipe for the first time in 99 years. So, yes, the last one, the mistake, or that refers to blunder. Okay, and there we go. Guys, this is the history of Coca-Cola. So what do you think about Coca-Cola? Did you know about this? No. Yeah, I have read some, some uh, articles about uh, Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. for example. Um, I have a, a, a bad experience mm -hmm. because uh, about 15 years ago, mm -hmm. I, with my classmates, uh, we registered Nonicola in USA. Nonicola, and it's possible to register Nonicola, but in El Salvador, uh, was uh, was blocked as a brand, as a brand name. As a brand name. Yeah. For example, it's possible to register Nonicola in USA, but it's not possible in El Salvador. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because okay. you use you use the word cola. It's property of um, I don't know. I don't remember. Because of copyrights. Yeah, they have a copyright for all colas. Because oh, I remember uh, you had Pepsi Cola, Bicola, uh, what else, guys? Those are the ones I remember. But, guys, uh, does it happen to you that you can identify flavors? See this thing when it is a Coke, when it is a Bicola, when it is a Pepsi? Can you identify flavors? Yes, yes. definitely. Sí. Really? <laughs> are you serious? It's very, yeah. Yes, it's, it's different. different. What about yes. light, uh, like Coke, zero sugar, light, and all those things? Can you identify flavors too? Mm, in this, in, in this variation, uh, I know. I only, I only case, I only case drink the flavor original. No zero, oh. nothing sugar. No, only okay. the, the flavor the original so flavor. You yes. don't like the variations. <laughs> Okay, no, no, okay. No. So something that caught my attention was this part. In 1916, the Contari bottle, which remained the signature uh, shape of Coca-Cola today, was chosen for its attractive appearance, original design, and the fact even in the dark 
you could identify the genuine article. So you said that you can identify flavors, but according to this one, se puede identificar como por la forma, right? Because it is super curvy. So, but yeah, I don't know if you are like Coke, uh, or in this case, Coca-Cola uh, normal drinkers, yeah? But uh, people say that they, if it is not a Coca-Cola, they prefer nothing or they, um, yeah. yeah? <laughs> not to that extreme, not to that level. No. In my case, I can identify a different flavor, but I don't have a specific preference about cola. But uh, if there, there are Pepsi and Coca-Cola, I prefer Coca-Cola. Okay. Yes. yes. Why? Is, is it a stronger? <laughs> Yes, the uh, yes, I think the flavor is stronger. But I don't like the flavor of cola when it is in a fast food restaurant, for example, McDonald's or it's, Wendy's. It's different. It's different. Yes, it's different. When it's, it's the, it's the soda machine. Water. Yeah, the soda uh, machine, yes. It's more water. Yes. It's more wa yes, it's more water. It's, the, the, it's water, the, the, how say harabe, teacher? Syrup? Say, syrup. Syrup. Uh -huh. You you yeah. you combine the syrup with the with the water with flavor. Yeah. I don't know. I think it is yeah, a yeah. gas, right? They put like some gas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. It's different. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's different. Very, very different. Yes. Yes. For me, mm -hmm. the better is the bottle, <laughs> the original <laughs> bottle. <laughs> the bottle. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. But, but yeah, you're right. Uh, I have. Once, well, I didn't know how the machine, uh, the soda machine worked, but something like that happened to me. I asked for a Sprite, I think, and it, I don't know, the flavor was very similar to like a salutaris, but like with more mm, gas. Okay. I don't know. It, I didn't yeah. like it. Uh -huh, but yeah, that, that's it a really good point. On, it, it depends on the combination. Mm? If you need more syrup or more water, yeah, you can combine. You need to combine. Yes, I'm not quite sure how it works. Guys, ¿alguien sabe cómo funcionan ellas? Do you know how it works? Sí, las la, la máquinas así funcionan. O sea, la, bueno, por lo menos en, en, en el fast food, eh, la coca, eh, en, viene el jarabe de la Coca-Cola uh -huh. y se combina con el agua carbonatada. Ah, uh, ok. Entonces hay una combinación. A veces le meten más agua carbonatada que jarabe y ahí se siente un poco suave la gaseosa y, y a veces trae más jarabe que agua. Ahí se siente un poco fuerte. Es que la, es, 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 that's is the different. Oh, all right. All right. Um, so maybe, maybe that is what I think that they have a specific and a standard, uh, and a standard process because like this, uh, no, it's, it's a standard. Because mm -hmm. I I visit Coca-Cola plant in my town, and mm. all the process is very very high standard. Mm, okay, yeah, but probably yeah. The, the the measure or the quantity, right, can be a little different. Okay, okay. Thank you yeah. so much for that information. I didn't really know how it works. Okay, guys, it is about time for us to leave. So. Just do me a big, big favor. Open up your camera, si les permite el internet. If you got the chance to uh, turn it on, please. And let me go over attendance. Uh, just give me a moment, because está lloviendo super fuerte here too. And my internet está oscilando too. It's not working as it should be working. So give me a moment. Guys, solamente hacerles también el recordatorio que completemos la plataforma, que nos adelantemos, right? And uh, para que no se nos vaya quedando acumulado. So, just a moment. Okay. Give me one sec.
Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry guys, uh, my computer, I don't know what's going on. Solamente les voy a tomar una fotito and I'm going to uh, take that as evidence, as your attendance, because it's not loading. So thank you, thank you for your cameras. Okay, your, computer your computer continue on vacation, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, no, pero es que creo que es mi internet. Because ah, también okay. veo mi cámara como friseada. So my camera is getting frozen. So ah, I, okay. I think that, uh -huh, I think it's rain. my internet. Yes, lluvia. I thought mm -hmm. so. Pero acá ya tengo evidencia, guys. No worries. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot um, for being here. Gracias porque a pesar de la lluvia estamos acá, guys. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow if God willing. So bye-bye. Okay. Have a good one. Have a good night. Eh, no, Rafa, no. solo si me regalo un par de minutos, Rafa. If you can stay, please, close the mask. Nos vemos, guys. Good night, guys. everybody. Bye-bye. Uh, good night. Bye-bye. Thank you so much, Rafa. So, solamente vamos a tomar parte de la sesión one-on-one. Eh, Si me quiebro, if I'm breaking, me avisa, please. Let me know, because creo que, sorry, voy a apagar mi camarita un momento mientras se estabiliza, porque creo que si mi internet, um, it, it's not working, right? Um, so, um, Rafa, ¿cómo se siente so far? How do you feel? Siento que lo estoy escuchando un poquito más. You're participating a little bit more. But, todavía, Rafa, necesitamos meterle nitro. <laughs> ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel? Uh, in this moment, uh, I, I feel uh, the land a little. Mm -hmm. um, I understand uh, a, a more little and hear in English. Perfect. But okay. I, uh, me cuesta que fluyan las palabras. Yes, no, no worries. Hecho, es, en español me cuesta, no soy tan así. Extrovertido. Ah, <laughs> oh, ok, ok. No, but you know. En, en me un poquito más. <laughs> pero sí, pero sí, estamos escuchando a los compañeros, escuchamos las instrucciones y ya las empezamos a comprender sin necesidad de pensarle tanto. Ya es un avance, you know, porque listening cuesta bastante. Entonces vamos a hacer una actividad eh, para mejorar la parte de speaking. Eh, ¿Será que cuenta con cinco minutos? ¿Todos los días extra? Sí. Sí, va, perfecto. Estamos a martes, entonces comenzamos el día miércoles. So, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Necesito que... Eh, sí, como usted dice, que las palabras vayan fluyendo un poquito más rápido que no nos quedemos como mucho tiempo pensando, porque normalmente lo que hacemos es quiero expresar una idea, pero la voy a pensar en español primero. Y en eso la pienso en español sí. y luego traigo la palabra de inglés y ahí es donde me toma mucho más tiempo. Entonces vamos a intentar hacerlo un poco más automatizado, right Vamos a comenzar con temas eh, que usted ya maneja, con temas fáciles, right And vamos a grabarnos. So... Eh, para el día de mañana, comenzamos mañana para que no le vaya a acumular, eh, para que no se quede pues ahora más tiempo. So vamos a comenzar con your favorite food. So, vale, vamos a hacer un ejercicio super quick. Eh, Rafa, le voy a hacer un par de preguntas y necesito que me las conteste sin pensarlo. Just answer to me. If you don't understand my question, eh, ask, right? Can you repeat? Pero no se quede traduciéndolas. Solo escúchala. And try to answer them back. Okay? Is that all right? Okay. Okay, Rafa, what's okay. your last name? Uh, Bar Barrientes. Where do you live? El Refugio. Uh, are you married? Yes, I'm married. Do you have babies? Yes, I have one son. Uh, oh, a boy. 
The boy, yes. What is your boy's name? What is his name? Rafael. I Rafael. like you. Rafael Alejandro. <laughs> oh, okay, Rafael Alejandro. Yeah. Okay. How old are you? How old are you, Rafa? How old are you? Uh, 10 years. No, no, but that is your baby. Yes. Okay, and you? Well, for me? I'm yes. 41. Oh, okay. And you work in Santa Ana, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Pregunta, Rafa. ¿Lo pensó en español? No. No, right? No. no Se fue no, en no. automático. So you listen yeah. and you answer. Significa que sí podemos hacerlo. We can do it. Y eso es lo que vamos ahorita a intentar hacer, you know? Get it, get the information e intentar responder de la forma más natural que podamos. Lo que voy a hacer súper natural, contestó súper rápido y no lo vi pensándolo en español. Y ven cuando la pregunta was not clear. Entonces vamos a intentar hacer eso. Mm -hmm. So con favorite food, uh, necesito que por un minuto me grabe un audio hablándome de su comida favorita, right? Deme toda la descripción, no sé cómo se prepara, cuál es su comida, etc. And eso sí. No vayamos al Google Translator, no se vaya a Google eh, a buscar o a poner toda la descripción. Me gusta esta comida porque, y en español, right? Porque no nos va a ayudar. Necesitamos que las palabras tengan más fácil. Si lo puede escribir, you can write it down si se siente cómodo o de una sola vez lo empieza a hablar. Si hay una palabra que no sabe cómo decirla, esa palabra sí la puede buscar, pero una palabra por una, right? No un texto, no un párrafo. En presiones para utilizar eh, para llegar hasta el minuto. Podemos, claro, utilizar expresiones como because, and, also, eh, however, but, todas esas son súper válidas. Pero la idea es esto. Eh, este, este audio, you know, eh, no le va a tomar más de cinco minutos quizás hacerlo. Me lo envié el, el día de mañana, so send it to me tomorrow. Okay. And, uh, igual, ¿verdad? Lo escucho. Le doy algún tipo de comentario. And, uh, y si hay algo que cambiarlo, lo grabamos otra vez porque la idea es precisamente eso. Ir trabajando con fluidez, con pronunciación y con vocabulario, right? Para el día okay. jueves, Life for Thursday, vamos a cambiarlo. And that is going to be, what do you do? Me va a hablar de su empleo. So you're going to tell me about your job. Lo mismo. Un minuto hablándome de su empleo. Eh, puede usar palabras ya más técnicas porque pues es relacionado con su empleo, right? With your job, etc. And uh, vamos a, a probar de esta forma. Y la último, el último día que es viernes va a ser what is your favorite movie. So me habla de su película favorita. So you tell me about your favorite movie. Right? Uh, lo mismo. My favorite movie is this because and because and because. Obviamente, tal vez para la película favorita, vaya a necesitar mucho más vocabulario, porque ya es una descripción de cosas, de actividades, de ocupaciones. Again, sí puede leerlo. Sí puede leer un poquito en inglés. Ya eh, puede leer lo que le llamamos hipnosis. You can read the hypnosis, oh, you okay. can read the description, mm -hmm. eh, para que agarre vocabulario desde ahí. Mm -hmm. Or again, lo pensamos en español y lo intenta procesar en English. Lo puede escribir, okay. right? O lo puede decir de una sola vez. Al final del viernes, eh, esto me lo envía mañana, eh, esto eh, para Thursday y esto para el día viernes. Al final del viernes me da su feedback, porque sí me interesa saber eh, okay. si después de practicarlo de esta forma, siente que le va funcionando, right? Que eh, las ideas vienen un poco más rápido. O si no, buscamos otra actividad u otra forma de hacer que el vocabulario surja más rápido, right? Porque ahorita probablemente solo necesitemos uh, leer funciona mucho. Si usted le gusta leer, al leer usted tiene ideas. Entonces, igual, pues, si es como favorite food, puede ir a buscar una descripción en in, inglés, in right? What's your favorite food? Para buscar adjetivos, para tener ideas. Y luego usted crea su propia versión. Your favorite okay. movie, puede leerla, no en español, en inglés. <laughs> y para que luego usted intente contarla, too, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay. ¿le parece si probamos esta semana de, de esta forma? And, uh, porque el ejercicio que acabamos de hacer está súper genial. So, Rafa, solo le quiero agradecer por, por la asistencia, porque sí lo veo, you know, todos los días acá, like, uh, par, par, participando, and, uh, super activo. Eh, yo diría que, que so far estamos haciendo un súper buen trabajo. And solo necesitamos como 
como le decía al inicio, meterle turbo, right? Que las palabras ya empiecen a surgir, pero obviamente es algo que le va a tomar pues prácticas, algo que con el tiempo va a responderlas igual que what's your name? How old are you? Where do you live? Pero sí se puede. You can do it, Rafa. Ok. okay. So, Gracias, comenzamos teacher. el día de mañana. No worries. I'm here to help you. Comenzamos el día de mañana. All right. And me lo envía, please. Si no Perfect. lo quiero enviar al grupo, me lo envía al personal. Okay. That, that, that is okay. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank I'll see you. you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.